get everything I needed while I was here. And if I ever went to a store, it didn't matter if it was blue jeans or tennis shoes or whatever it was, they'd say, if we don't have it, you don't need it. And I'd really like to see that happen again in my lifetime. So with that, I'd like to, first of all, thank Ms. Vines for providing the venue. Thank you very much, Ms. Mello. It was great to be here. Great corner, beautiful job on the food. Thank you. Thank you so much. The First Baptist Church of Lafette um, helped get the tables and organize and set some things up. We thank you. The Lafette Fire Department, I want to thank you as well for being here and the fact that I'm going to ask you to get some of your guys to help us clean up afterwards. <laughs> I tried to catch you before I got here, but I, nobody answered the door and I saw everybody was gone, so I figured I'd, I'd catch you here, Chief, and thank you for that. Um, I'd also like to thank the uh, Chambers County Development Authority. Did I get that right? You did. Okay, great. Um, the City Council of Effect that actually passed the resolution to allow us to move forward with this initiative. I, I greatly appreciate their support in moving forward because without that resolution, we would not be able to do this. Um, Gator Media, thank you for being here and broadcasting this, I guess, semi-live? Uh, yes. Okay, thank you very much. And to all the anonymous members of our community who have helped to sponsor this event, I want to want to thank you because all of this was done pretty much on a volunteer basis to bring everybody here together. So um, there was no funding. This was done by the community for the community, and I'd like to thank everybody that has participated. So thank you all. So thank you again, and who are we? Who we are? Vision with Fed is a group of citizens, businesses, community leaders, schools, churches, city and county governments, and what we've done is we have joined together to seek a full designation as a main street community for the city of Lafette. This group of volunteers has a common vision. And what that vision is, is to create a better place to work and live, not just now, but for the generations to come. It's going to take years to overcome some of the things that have, you know, down, put the city of Lafette down where it is today. We want to build it up. So what we're doing here tonight is seeking the involvement of all the community, the churches, the schools, the businesses, the organizations, and the governments who have not already committed to this initiative. We're looking for help and volunteers to help us get through the task. And if you notice on your table, there's different volunteer sheets out there. I think they're all highlighted in yellow of where we need people and help. And from an organizational perspective, one of the things that there's a lot, there's a lot that has to be done. And there's a lot that's already been done. But it's much easier if you have a number of people that are doing small subtasks and you can bring all of those tasks together and combine them and we can get it all done. But it's way too much for a small group of people to do. So the more volunteers we have, the more opinions we have, and I think the better application will get submitted, which there are some dates that are hard deadlines. So we're looking for volunteers. And what I'd like to is to show your support and help volunteer in the areas where you feel comfortable. People that volunteer in areas where they're comfortable and they're doing things that they like to do are typically more productive. So follow your heart and if it's in your heart to volunteer to do something, pick something that you like and I'm sure you'll do a great job doing it. So with that, um, take you where your heart takes you. So or go where your heart takes you. And with that, if uh, Chris Busby, if you wouldn't mind, I'd like you to explain a little bit about what the Main Street City designation is and what it could mean to our community. So what I'm trying to do here is say what Vision Lafette is, is the initiative to get the Main Street designation. So, Mr. Busby. <laughs> I, I don't need a round of applause. <laughs> So Jimmy threw this on me last minute, so I have no prepared statements. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Chris Busby uh, with the Chambers County Development Authority. I am from Lafette. I was, uh, my parents moved here the year, two months before I was born. Uh, my dad had a small business here and just recently retired. Um, I grew up in downtown Lafette. I grew up walking these streets, 
playing with my friends here. I went to school uh, here. I went to college at Alabama and I came back here. There's not a lot of people that we've seen here recently. Of course, my phone rings right now. There's not a lot of people that we've seen in our county that young people that go off to school and come back. And that's what we want here in Lafayette. We want a new generation to come in here and grow our community, make our community thrive. But as we know in the world today, you've got to have amenities, you've got to have uh, a lifestyle that is attractive to them. And throughout the state, the mainstream program has been massively successful. We have neighboring cities, Opelika, Alex City, uh, Heflin, to name a few, that have engaged in this program and have seen tremendous growth. So when we started this program, or, or this process a couple of years ago, um, the goal was to revitalize downtown, revitalize Lafette back to where it was uh, 20, 30 years ago. Um, we hit some roadblocks because COVID hit. And there was fear uh, among the people who volunteered that we weren't getting it done. Uh, we didn't have the, the commitment, the passion to do it. Um, but we were dealt a pretty tough hand. But I commend the people who, who want to see the city grow for pushing forward. And I feel like this year, we have a more structured, more motivated, more robust uh, committee and, and path forward to getting this designation. So what does this designation mean? At the Development Authority, we are all about community development, economic development, growth, uh, providing good paying jobs, uh, providing a quality of life for our citizens. Main Street does all that. It provides jobs. It provides revenue for the city. It provides quality of life for its citizens, existing citizens. It provides quality of life for potential citizens. So we want to see the city grow. This designation would have a tremendous impact on the city of Lafayette. Specifically, probably first, making it look better. But second, revenue for the city. Sales tax revenue. So we all know if anybody's you know goes to a city council meeting or uh, you know reads the newspaper that there is revenue issues for the city. Cities can't function unless they have revenue. So our goal is to create as much revenue as possible so that the city can grow and provide basic services, roads, water, sewer, infrastructure. People, you have issues with certain things that you deal with in the city, and the way these things can be met are by revenue increase. Um, bringing people here brings tax revenue, sales tax revenue, property tax revenue. So this is why we're going down this path. Um, there is a bit of nostalgia here. There is a bit of desire to see the city back what it was, but there's also a path forward with this program. Um, I have, I personally know the, the Main Street Director of the State of Alabama, um, and I've been to many, many of these Main Street cities that are already designated. And I can tell you with 100% certainty, I have never ever seen a Main Street city in this state that has not seen tremendous growth. Um, I encourage you all, if you get a chance, to go see them. Um, I think for anyone who's from this area, and you know, we, we all go to Auburn, Opelika from time to time, if you've seen the growth in Opelika, now I know their population is, is bigger than ours, but if you've seen the growth in Opelika over the past 10 years, and a lot of that is fueled by their Main Street, their downtown development. Uh, we have that potential. We have a major road going right through our town, right through our proposed Main Street district. So someone comes through here and they see what we're doing, yeah, they're going to stop and shop, but they're also going to know what we are. And they're going to keep it in their mind that maybe, maybe I should move here. Maybe I should tell my friends about it. We want new people to come here. We want new businesses to come here. We want our city to grow. We want our city to prosper. And I feel like for the first time in a really, really long time, at least in my lifetime, that we have a very, very straight path toward that, that growth. So we're not asking a lot of, of people here today. We're not asking for money. We're asking for your support. We're asking for your time. We're asking for a, a few hours of volunteering to help us get this designation secured. But more importantly, what we're asking is a commitment that if and when we get this designation done, 
that you'll be there to help us grow this city and to keep pushing forward and to grow our downtown and to grow our population and to grow our tax base and to make Lafette what it can be and what it should be and to make everyone who's from here or who wants to be here proud of their city. So this is something I'm extremely passionate about. I've chose to live my life here. I've chose to plant my roots here. And I want to see our city grow. So I, I, I beg you, help us make Lafette great again. I am so, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> got, got a little political here. I mean, sorry. I watched, I watched the Super Bowl the other night and it was just hammered with political ads, so I guess it's in my, in my head. But, it, but, but Lafette is a great place, but it can be so much better. But the only way to do that is for all of us to, to, to join together on a common goal uh, to push forward and make sure that, that we are at the forefront of this county's growth. Um, so we're here tonight, and I, I think Jimmy's probably going to say a few more words, but we're going to go through this again later at 630, so you don't have to stay the whole time. But we want you to read what, what roles you can volunteer for. We want you to talk to us and ask us questions, uh, and we encourage you to you know, do research on it, look at the other cities that are doing this, this, uh, this program, and, and realize the potential that we have uh, for Lafette to be an incredible place to live, to raise your family, and to have a business. So thank you all so much for coming. I'm overwhelmed, and I actually have chills seeing this many people here, and I hope that throughout the rest of the night we'll have people to continue to come in um, but just thank you again, and thank you for your passion for Lafette, and thank you for anything that you can do to help us with this initiative. Well, thank you, Chris, and I must compliment you since I gave you about a five-minute notice. I think that was a pretty good speech, don't y'all? <laughs> he, he might have missed his calling. I'm not saying go political. But I'm not a politician. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, there's, a, there's a couple of things I want to mention. Um, we've got a video that's over here that's going to be playing. We're going to put some of the music to it here shortly that will enable you to see what Main Street designation has done for other cities in and around. You can learn a little bit about the program and what it means. Feel free to talk to anybody. So with that, I want to thank you all, and at this time I'd like to ask Brother Paul Howard to bless the food so we can go ahead and get a little something to eat. Thank you. Let me pray. Father, well, I want to thank you for this group that's gathered tonight, and thank you for the objectives that are being presented and the people that are involved in uh, achieving this Main Street designation. I pray for its success in revitalizing our city and attracting industry and business, shops, pray, Father, that you will be done as uh, we try to make this a better place. Thank you for this food, for those who prepared it. We pray that you bless it. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Go eat, everybody. I, I don't want to take it all home.